Hi and welcome back to How to Use Anna 2. In this one we're going to look at Supersaws. Anna sort of excels at Supersaws really. We'd spend a lot of time getting that part of it right. Um, so let's have a, a look. We've got a basic saw sound here and we can just up our voices. We get a nice super saw. One of the things we did was um, we have a sort of system with our unison voices where we try to keep the, the phase relationship separated from each other. So you should always get a quite a nice stable sound on each note press. Something quite thick. So there's a few sort of types of super saws we can try and aim for. There's the sort of JP8000 style and then there's the, the virus style. So we'll have a look at uh, the JP first. So it's kind of all, all almost set up for that. We want um, seven voices and the shape control, I think generally speaking, should probably be about 30% and that gives you a similar vibe to a JP. You want to go for sort of the thicker sounding virus hyper saw and um, you go up to nine voices and you actually should turn the width down the the virus super saw is mono but then it has uh, an actual extra unison feature as well so you can actually double up on that so if we just copy this to our next oscillator so we've got two sounds and then we can actually pan that left and right and that sort of simulates, well, I'll pan that one left and this one right. That simulates quite closely the, the hyper saw on the virus. That's a very thick sound. I'll turn the volume down so we're not overloading. And then you can go on again if you want a really super big sound and add some upper octaves. So we'll turn that all the way up to nine and add in a higher octave um another way to sort of make it feel and sound a bit thicker we can detune these first two oscillators from each other creates a bit of separation in the sound and you can also choose different waveforms for each of the each of the saw types And this helps to just sort of separate those saws out and give it more depth and detail. I'm actually going to turn all the octaves down one so we can get our nice bass notes in. And generally speaking, I have the higher octave um, turned down a bit so it's not so overpowering it's just sort of in there to add almost extra harmonics and if you are going to be creating a track that has some super cells in it we can go into cmd make sure it's switched on we can just select some of the presets i've actually got a an extra one that i've saved from the above all preset so if you go into that preset and save out the CMD, you can actually then have it in your bank. I really like these chords, so it's just sort of save them in. Um, really nice for a sort of trancy sound. And if we want to go sort of really super big and get a, a really epic sound, we can go into our dynamics and add a multi limiter, switch it on. You can bring down our thresholds. This will give you a sort of nice fizzy synthy sound. And you can play about with the levels of each of your sections depending on where you want it to sit in the mix. You might not want so much low end in. So you can And then, of course, we can add some nice reverb on there as well. And the next stage, if you want to, if you need a, a pluck sound, we can add a filter in. Um, I really like the 
um, Anna One Curve for pluck stuff. And I prefer the Uber filter for plucks. It's um, not just as resonant, it seems to have a more sort of solid sound. And we can turn our curve up. Get some delays on there. It's always nice to have a bit of delay on the pluck. So there we go, there's a big super saw pluck and chord lead. Um, in the next video, we're going to look at a 138 trancy bass. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.